Hey guys, so another day observing. I uh, am again on my holidays. It is just about uh, five minutes to like midnight. And again, another hazy night. Um, gonna try the Takahashi triplet, TO, TOA. Now before, I've done two. Actually, let me get that camera closer. Why is it so far? Okay, so I've done two videos with the Takahashi. Um, one was an unboxing, and then one was I messed up with because I used it on an EQ5. So we're not doing that anymore. I got it on an EQ6, and with motor driven, it's not a go-to mount. But uh, that's okay. I don't need go-to anyway. So let's just balance this guy. Okay. This time I had to put the 10 pound tube counterweight or I wouldn't uh, balance on the one axis. Um, so man, is it heavy now. So let me check it out now. Now it's too back heavy and I'll need to push it a little front. So what I could try is I have a uh, I think 11 inch bar on it right now and what I could try is uh, putting I think I have a 13 inch bar or 14 inch bar so that might give me enough uh, where I can lower the tube down another two or three inches that might be uh, enough okay perfect uh, where I don't need to use this extra tube counterweight I'm not talking about these counterweights on the actual mount I'm talking about there's a 10 pound counterweight right near the focuser that you can put on uh, so this time I have to use it Okay, so now I have to balance it this way, now that there's 10 extra pounds on it. Yeah, definitely it's a lot heavier in the tube. Still, okay. Got to put all three weights here. There we go. So this sucker is taking three 12-pound three weights right at the bottom. And it just fits. So I think it's 35 pounds, this tube. With this 10 pound tube counterweight, you know, we're looking at um, 45 pound OTA. That's kind of big. So, but that's okay. I think uh, I'll switch it. I have, like I said, a 13, 14 inch counterweight bar, and that might be perfect. Okay, so I don't have a finder scope on this guy, but I'll put a 32 millimeter right piece, and I should be able to find it right there that's it ready found it. today again like that last day when i used the mead seven inch uh, refractor she me tilt the camera this way very hazy i mean it's clear but it's hazy i don't think seeing is that great so it's a 1100 millimeter focal length uh the mead one was 1600 so another 500 focal length more okay Focuser is really nice. Okay, let me, let me bump up the power. Okay, let's put a, a six millimeter radian on here. It was 183 power. That's a good power. Okay, even though today is not the best scene, I could tell from yesterday, this is a better image of, of Saturn for sure. Like, hands down. I don't need to do it side by side. It just is better on a crappy night. I know, I know, I shouldn't be comparing a six inch triplet, one of the best, to a Mead older ED. I just wish today was... So this mount works perfect for this guy. If I can just take out the 10 pound extra counterweight, puts it very heavy. I guess I should just show it to you guys. 
you know what, before I show it to you guys, let me just see how it looks in the eyepiece. So let me, okay, let's put a 5 radian in. Let's see when the image starts to break down or not. Okay, man, if today was like a great seeing day, I could just tell the image quality that I'm seeing in here is one of the handful of times I've seen it. Now, you gotta also remember, even though today is not the greatest, remember, Saturn is not, in these last few years, in a great elevation. Wait another, like, five, six years, and it would be better. But, I can just tell, by what I'm seeing in here, and what power am I at? 220 power. So, the other week, when I showed you guys, uh, both of the Astrophysics 6-inch and the EvoStar 6-inch, I was at 240 power. Now that day I went to 300, but it started breaking down. So I'm virtually there at 240, uh, 240 last time and 220 now. Only 20 power difference. This guy does need a lot of cool down time. Okay, I'm gonna bump it one more time. I'm gonna go to a 4 radian, just to see what happens. Can it handle 275 power? Very, very good. Yeah, it's not as sharp as I would like it. Man, I guess, you know, that's just weather for you. You can never, it might be clear, but then it's windy. It might be clear, but it might be hazy. Uh, you, you know, or it might not be clear. So I guess clear and hazy uh, is better than nothing. This guy needs almost two hours cool down time. That's probably the only downfall I see. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take it to the same eyepieces I used last time. Um, the Evo Star. Uh, I had an 18 millimeter. Um, and the two times borrow in the uh, iPhone. So let me see. I'm going to stick to the same eyepiece combination. And we're going to see what you guys think. Now it's hard to compare because you know again every night can be different so today obviously is going to be different than a month ago when I did those videos but just to give you an idea well and remember too guys so since the astrophysics triplet non-ED the older one one against the Sky Watcher, just by a smidgen. It's, I'm going to do a rundown with those two next. So the Takahashi is going to go against the Astrophysics on my next video. And that way it's going to be the same night. So it does not matter if it's not a great night or it's a great night or a half and half. Uh, both scopes are going to be next to each other and the same power so which means then you can tell the difference because that because that way if it's a not a great night in the image here you can tell is it better worse or the same in the eyepiece okay so this is the same power now let me put the camera adapter on i mean the image looks really good to me in a 18 millimeter meat super wide with a two times barlow so let me show it to you guys okay so there's saturn i have it with an 18 millimeter made super wide with a two times barlow and i'm blowing it up three times on the cell phone again i don't know if i'm 100 percent polar aligned because my townhouse is on the north so, I mean, it's pretty rock solid. Let me just fix this. You can see the moon right there in the upper right as I have the exposure a little higher. And then as I dim down the exposure, Okay, I'm just going to move with the hand control so it might wobble a little now. Let me get it. Yeah. 
shrink it down. Now that's two times. Let me try to focus a little and see if I can get a minute or am I going to screw it up? No. Mm, I think that looks okay. I hope. I hope I didn't screw it up by touching the focuser now. Okay. Okay. So now I'm on Jupiter and um, let me just angle it a little bit more. Okay. And I'm at 220 power. <laughs> it's funny. I guess a one of the moons just came out of behind um, Jupiter because I did not see it. It's practically almost 220. It's just a couple arc seconds away from the disk so that is kind of funky anyway looks lots of detail lots of detail okay so i want to show you guys five radian in i want to put the same combination the made two times five thousand barrel and then the 18 millimeter and not the best night today, but whatever. Okay, let me focus. Okay, there's Jupiter. Again, same combination I used last time. 18 millimeter super wide mead, uh, 4000 series Japan mead, and with a two times Barlow. Um, you could just see that the moon touching it let me see on the left side there right there do you see that let me just move it What do you guys think of that? You can see one star, they're right there touching it. One almost at the edge of the field of view. It's slowly moving down, but that's only because my polar alignment is off and I just guessed north. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for today. It's becoming late. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys like to uh, look through the Takahashi. Again, it is only in a cell phone. It's, imagine what you could do with a nice dedicated DSLR, CMOS, a CCD camera, planetary camera. You can probably get amazing shots out of there. Anyway, guys. I'll see you guys next time on the Joe Jaguar. Like, comment, and subscribe. Next next day that I do a video, it's going to be the Takahashi 6-inch against the Astrophysics 6-inch. Let's see what happens. And again, because they're side-by-side, -side, it does not matter if it's going to be a great awesome night or a mediocre night or a crappy night because uh, they're both going to be side-by-side. -side, so if the image is crappy in one, is it going to be the same, worse, or basically better. Uh, we'll see which one comes out a winner. Anyway, cheers.